Hi, I'm Jordan Rubin and welcome to Ancient Medicine Today brought to you by DrAxe.com. Today we're going to tackle a subject that is important to so many people, how to get rid of vertigo. Vertigo is really an imbalance where you are not able to find your center of mass. That's the definition. Vertigo occurs when your inner ears fail to communicate properly with the rest of your body. And there can be all kinds of symptoms from dizziness to imbalance, really even walking around in a fog. And while vertigo is not something that people talk about all the time, there are various levels and severity that people deal with, and it can actually impact, if not devastate somebody's life. Ancient Medicine Today is here each and every weekday at 10.30 a.m. Central Time to give you powerful information that will transform your health. And we do this with you. We do it in cooperation with you. You are our Ancient Medicine Army. So if you're excited about this topic because you know people that need this information, make sure to click that like button and punch that share button so that you can Give this information, give the gift of health to someone that needs it. Well, let's get started. Ancient medicine today, how to get rid of vertigo. Number one, this is what we want you to consume as far as a diet goes, low sodium. It's really important when you're dealing with imbalances of the body to lower the added sodium. Now, this does not include the good sources of sodium you get in your diet or organically bound sodium, but you wanna consume potassium-rich foods and you want to lower the consumption of what you would call sodium chloride or table salt. Number two, you want to boost your omega-3 fat consumption. Fatty fish such as salmon, herring, mackerel, certain species of tuna. You want to be able to consume some sardines, and there are many other high omega-3 fatty acid rich fish. You can also consume nuts such as walnuts, seeds such as flax, chia, and their oils. Of course, as in any diet, for any condition, you want to consume a variety of fruits and vegetables. Antioxidants help the body fight off free radicals. And we believe that there's a connection between vertigo and oxidative stress, as well as mineral deficiency. So consuming a variety of colors is going to be good for any condition, but make sure if you're dealing with vertigo, that imbalance that you consume a variety of fruits and vegetables, fresh and prepared. We also want to consume vitamin B6 rich foods. B6 is great for your metabolism, but it's also really good for balance. Pictured here are pistachio nuts, nuts and seeds are good sources of B vitamins. Mushrooms are good sources. Meats such as fish, red meat, and dark meat, poultry, all great sources of vitamin B6. Boosting vitamin B6 foods or consuming vitamin B6 in a supplement form is important to get rid of vertigo. We also want to consume bone broth. Bone broth helps your body's fluids get in balance by bathing you in potassium, loading you with anti-inflammatory substances, and collagen, which helps build the structure of the body. And your ears have a lot of cartilage and inner ear issues are what leads to vertigo. But bone broth can help you bring balance, can help cleanse the body. Really, really important for you to consume. Make it yourself. Look at recipes on DrAxe.com for homemade bone broth. Purchase bone broth in your local health food or grocery store or use a powdered bone broth protein supplement. Now, here's what we're going to avoid. If you want to get rid of vertigo, avoid the following or at least greatly minimize it. Number one, alcohol. Alcohol can cause toxic issues with the body because your liver needs to deal with it. Now, there are certainly some better sources of alcoholic drinks such as organic sulfite-free red wine, but lower or completely eliminate alcohol consumption. Number two, caffeine. We are not against caffeine. In fact, we're fans of consuming organic tea, organic coffee, et cetera. But if you're dealing with vertigo, let's go ahead and stop the stimulants because the central nervous system, which is stimulated by caffeine, could be contributing to those issues. We want to avoid sugar. Sugar imbalances the immune system. Sugar causes a reaction that imbalances hormones. All of that is going to affect your body in multiple ways, maybe not directly affecting your body's equilibrium or balance, but avoiding 
sugar, particularly added sugar, is going to help you eliminate or get rid of your vertigo. Refined grains. You want to avoid any grains that are not whole grains. In fact, you may want to eliminate gluten-containing grains found in breads, cereals, pasta, and flour. Consume heirloom grains such as quinoa, amaranth, millet, black or purple rice that are loaded with nutrients and antioxidants. When you're dealing with vertigo as any other condition, your gut's involved, your immune system's involved, and grains are not going to be your friend, especially when they're refined. And of course, we want to avoid artificial sweeteners. Folks, in the last few decades, people have been so excited to lower their sugar content and lose weight or diet by consuming artificial sweeteners. Well, I can tell you, the pink, yellow, or blue packets can be toxic to the body, have even been reported to cause neurological issues. This is the first place I would go if you're dealing with vertigo. I'm Jordan Rubin here on Ancient Medicine Today, brought to you by DrAxe.com, and we are talking about ways to get rid of vertigo, that inner equilibrium issue, that imbalance that so many people deal with. Folks, if you want more extensive information, visit DrAxe.com for an expanded article on how to eliminate or get rid of the symptoms of vertigo. And folks, if you're loving this information, make sure to let us know about it. And more importantly, share this information with people you know who are dealing with inner equilibrium or balance issues. It happens much more often than we give credit. And it's so important to follow these steps to eliminate vertigo. So here's some herbs and spices that will greatly help. Ginger is the first. Ginger is anti-inflammatory. It's great for the gut. It's great for the heart. It's a warming herb that can provide energy to the body and help with circulation. We want to make sure that the body's communicating properly so that these imbalances cease. So ginger root in tea, consuming it in sort of a candied ginger, so to speak, even though there's a little sugar there. Uh, you can consume a ginger supplement, a ginger syrup. Uh, it is an amazing herb. Use it in your food, dried or fresh. Juicing it is great as well. Number two, cayenne. Cayenne really boosts things. It'll boost your metabolism and circulation, and it is a great spice to help your body find that balance. And of course, one of our favorite spices of all, turmeric. Anti-inflammatory, great for the brain, it's really good for the heart. It's good for the skin. Powerful source of antioxidants, as are cayenne and ginger. And if you're dealing with vertigo or any bodily imbalance, turmeric in supplement form, essential oil, turmeric root, make a decoction or a tea. I take fresh turmeric root or dried, put it in one of those tea presses, and I fill it with boiling water, and I have two or three cups a day. You cannot beat the benefits of turmeric and make some curry. Turmeric is great dried or fresh mixed in your recipes. Folks, essential oils are great for vertigo. In fact, if you use essential oils topically and orally or systemically, they will provide, I believe, great balance. Diffusing essential oils will help you feel balanced for sure. Frankincense is number one, king of the oils. Use organic frankincense as an aroma. You can actually rub it on your hands. You can inhale it. You can inhale it right from the bottle. Rub it on your feet. I bet consistent use of frankincense is going to help you find that balance. We talked about ginger. Ginger essential oil is a great way to warm things up. Whether you're aching or you just want to be energized and balanced, ginger is amazing. And speaking of balance, lavender essential oil is phenomenal. I believe that those who have vertigo, who are dealing with imbalances, can begin to find their center, because that's what this is about, by inhaling, diffusing, and applying organic lavender essential oil. Really, really important. And to invigorate the mind, muscles, and body, peppermint oil. Just inhaling it, rubbing it, or consuming it in water, or recipes can really bring life to your body and clarity of mind, which is also an issue for people that suffer with vertigo. And last but not least, an oil I love to pronounce, ylang ylang. Ylang ylang is great for finding balance and peace and your center. Remember, vertigo occurs when your inner ears fail to communicate properly to the rest of your body, and vertigo is really characterized by just 
being in a fog, not knowing where you are, not feeling right, internal uh, discombobulation, maybe that's a good way to say it. These essential oils are powerful. And there are two treatments we would call holistic treatments that are awesome. Chiropractic adjustments are a great way to find balance. And I've personally known many with vertigo who've had great success with chiropractic corrective care, spinal manipulation, and making sure that your body is centered. Inner ear problems, ear infections are greatly helped with chiropractic and acupuncture. Acupuncture is the multi-thousand-year-old approach to helping balance your body and has been shown to be effective in vertigo. So if you are someone who really wants to get your life back and get rid of vertigo, utilizing chiropractic and or acupuncture can be a great way to go. I'm Jordan Rubin here on Ancient Medicine Today, brought to you by DrAxe.com, and we are here each and every day at 10.30 a.m. Central Time to give you health information to transform your life. And remember, there's always expanded information and articles on DrAxe.com. There's a great one on how to get rid of the symptoms of vertigo. So if you're someone who's suffering with vertigo, I highly recommend that you follow these simple steps to get rid of this life-altering condition. We want to consume a lower sodium diet. We want to consume omega-3 fatty acids, increase fruits and vegetables, consume more vitamin B6 rich foods, add bone broth to your diet one to three servings a day. You want to avoid alcohol or at least uh, minimize it. Avoid sources of caffeine that stimulate you, reduce refined sugar consumption and refined grain consumption and cut out artificial sweeteners completely. That could be your main issue. As far as herbs go, we love ginger, cayenne and turmeric to boost your body, your circulation and your balance. You can try holistic treatments such as chiropractic and acupuncture to find your center and use the following essential oils diffused, topically or taken orally, frankincense, ginger, lavender, peppermint, and ylang-ylang. Folks, I believe that if you're dealing with severe or even mild symptoms or occasional vertigo, it's time to take your health back. And we're here each and every day on Ancient Medicine Today to help you do just that. If you've enjoyed this broadcast, make sure to let us know by clicking that like button. And if you know anyone who could benefit from this powerful life changing information, make sure to punch that share button. We need you to spread the message of health and wholeness throughout the world. Make sure to join us tomorrow on Ancient Medicine Today, 10.30 a.m. Central Time. God bless you and have great health.